movieweb.com. On the way to London for his daughter's wedding. Excuse me, I'm on the 135. Sorry, that flight's now closed. But all I have is hand luggage. Sir, so that is not hand luggage. What, this? You're right. Okay. Now will you let me on? Harvey is hitting a little turbulence. Harvey, it's over. We're letting you go. Uh, Dad, for the past few years, Brian's been a really big part of my life. Salud. Salud. I'm going to ask him to give me away tomorrow. But you never know what tomorrow will bring. I have a Johnny Walker. That'll help. Help as much as that trashy novel and a glass of Chardonnay. Oh, I'm sorry. That was out of line. It's just that I lost my job, and my daughter, who's getting married today, wanted her stepfather to give her away. Fair enough. You win. What I took from this is that life will always be a constant struggle. Did you kind of see it that way? Have you have you ever seen it any other way? <laughs> well, no, I kind of thought, like, once I got to a certain age, maybe I wouldn't have such problems as I see Harvey having in this, and now my future is kind of wrecked because of this. But there's hope at the end of the tunnel, I guess. Yeah, but, you know, life is, uh... I think the happy, the, the, the spaces in life that are genuinely happy are, are, are not as constant as we'd like them to be. Uh, it's, uh, it's tough to, to have a life the way you would like it to be. And then I think that when you reach a certain age, one of the things we most of us regret is that we didn't live more of our life the way we wanted to. That somehow we got tricked, you know, in different ways by society. I should be doing this. I should be doing that. This is important. That's important. And then uh, I think that's and, and and I think there's there's a little person inside of us in the back of our brain that is constantly telling us you better start doing what you really want to do you better start living the life that that is yours and along with that is like I think what this film talks about is you know you, you better start you better start understanding that you deserve a life because that's a hard one too mm -hmm. you got to watch out for the tricks then that's basically what you're saying you have to watch out for your own inability to 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 know how much the now at the risk of sounding like a 60s, <laughs> <laughs> you know, that the now, that there is only the now, that there is nothing else. You can walk outside and a brick can come off a, the top of a building, you know, and, and to, 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 you know, to, to know that the mystery of just being in a room with these people that we're in with now is, you know, the odds against it are astronomical. And there is, you know, there's a unity here if we make use of it. So I should use all the money on my credit card right now. Well, you <laughs> it's should not going to matter because that take, might die. You should take us all to lunch. <laughs> sure <laughs> that's thing, yeah. that's well, the first thing. <laughs> I think you just doomed the rest of my day. I'm going to no, get in the car no, and drive no. and it's going to be off the road for me. <laughs> this is my last chance to ever talk to anybody. How do you feel about that? This is my last chance to talk to Harvey. <laughs> no, it isn't. No, it isn't. Did no, you identify did you identify with it? Of course I did. I identified with the whole beginning. I don't know so much about walking into a bar and talking to a woman like that cuz they don't ever seem to give me the time of day. But maybe if it was my last chance and I knew that, maybe they would. Maybe I'd be more persistent. Yeah, but I think that's I mean, Look, if there's six and a half billion people in the world, what's the chances that you're going to meet the one? I mean, very slim. Yeah, so maybe that is the wrong way of looking at it. Maybe part of it is that you are, you're part of the reason, you, you kind of have to be one of the, you have, to be, you have to be painting the canvas along with fate. You have to be the agitator, I guess. You have to make it happen because it, it, it's not going to happen on its own. I was going to say real quick, were you surprised that um, Joel saw you as the guy with the alarm on your sleeve? Because I know he wrote this for you. Well, it's funny the way movies go. He originally wrote for me to come into this hotel, which is in the film, to order up some coffee because I'm jet lagged. And the guy comes in with a coffee and it spills all over me. And I don't have another suit. And I'm supposed to wear that coffee stained suit to the reception. And, and when we talked about it, I said I wouldn't do it. I mean, I just wouldn't, I, you know, if it was all over the coat, I wouldn't wear the coat. I wouldn't go there coffee stained. So what could we, what could we substitute? And we just came up with the... Uh, <laughs> with the, with that alarm thing, so that it's too late for him to do anything about it. Meet me here tomorrow, will you? You see, 
think that now. You wait till tomorrow. Today is tomorrow. Shut up, Harvey. <laughs>